Good morning. In this video, I want to deal with uh, uh, the uh, live cast, uh, live stream that uh, Brother Frank put up la yes, uh, last night, I believe, yesterday. And uh, he was dealing with uh, some guy from uh, Brian Deng's group. And uh, they were putting out, you know, Frank addresses the idea of the same, saying that I say that someone can take the mark and still be saved, which is a lie. See, they can't grasp the fact that God will protect you from taking the mark. So they assume when you say you have eternal security in a tribulation, they're saying, oh, even if you take the mark, you're going to be, you're going to be eternally secure. No. But they're too stupid to figure this out, or too dishonest. One or the other. <clears throat> God protects those from being deceived. People who take the mark are deceived into taking the mark. That's what that's what Satan does in the tribulation. It's great deception going on. But I'll tell you who tell, tell, says you can remove the mark. Peter Buckman did. Robert Breaker did. Robert Breaker, remember he's running around telling about people chopping off their hands? Literally, you know, you see the fight, the Lord of Eternity, people chopping off their hands, and you, people are going to go into millennium with chopped off hands. Yeah, that's same. And then Kim, right along with it, you know, Dr. Kim, talking about cutting off his forehead. You bear the mark on your forehead, cutting off your hand. That's same. These people are not sane people. There's something wrong with these people. But we'll see what Buckman has to say here. In 2 Kings 5 1, he's got a note dealing with Nahum. This passage down to verse 15 is a great picture of New Testament salvation. Oh, by faith alone. <laughs> faith alone. So every time you see faith alone in the Old Testament, the Old Testament it's, a, it's a great picture of New Testament salvation. Like a lot was a great, te great, a great picture of uh, uh, New Testament eternal security. It becomes a picture. How did Lot get to heaven? He did no works. Not just a picture, an illustration of the New Testament. Uh, total security. Well, how do you, it's faith and works, isn't it, in the Old Testament? Don't you have to perfect your faith? You see, for the Lord, he, he, he switches it to perfecting your faith. And that's that's where the works come in. Where the Lot perfect his faith? No, he was a God, God, God calls him a godly man. A just man. Second Peter. They never deal a lot. They can't do a lot. Brother Max pointed out when he brought that up with uh, Kim. What did Kim have to do? It's the law of ex exceptions. He made a whole new doctrine. <laughs> Kim makes a whole new doctrine. Well, it's the law of exceptions. So again, this passage down to verse 15 is a great picture of New Testament salvation. But note that no water baptism here is for the cleansing of the, uh, here is for the cleansing of the, uh, of the filth of the flesh. Oh, excuse me. But note that the water baptism baptism here is for the clen uh, cleansing of the filth of the flesh he had leprosy uh, what a baptism in the New Testament is not for that at all 1 Peter 3.21 the baptism probably prefig pref prefigures a water baptism that will be carried out in the tribulation using the formula of, of uh, Acts 2.38 it will have something to do with removing the grievous uh, uh, poxes or sores of Revelation 16.2 what are they getting those uh, poxes and sores from? I'm taking the mark. So how are you going to remove the poxes and sores unless you're removing the mark? 16.2 Revelation 16.2 uh, Let's see Revelation 16.2 I'll start with verse 1. I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of, God, wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had, take, had, which had the mark of the beast and upon them which had worshipped the, his image. That's why they had the, So he's taking, taking the mark away. I mean, taking the poxes and the sores away. You gotta take the mark away. Because they're damned. There's no coming back from the mark. But here's some interesting footnotes here. Let's go here with the uh, uh, Leviticus 13, 13, and 53. 
I think it's 13. Uh, 13. 13. Footnote 1313. 13. And here's another remarkable revelation stuffed in stuffed in here where no scholar could find it. It's the only one could find it. Lot's wife was an Egyptian from Ham. Here it comes with Ham again. Genesis uh, 12, 16, compared to Genesis 19, 15, 26. Christ said to remember Lot's wife when your tribulation comes. Luke 17, 32. Leprosy is an African disease, and an African leopard is marked by spots. The leprosy here is connected with white spots, but if the victim turns white all over, not black, <laughs> he is clean. Second Kings 5.27 Lot's wife turned into a pill of salt, white from head to foot, though she, though she like Alfred, was an Egyptian from North Africa. He's <laughs> Now it's supposed to be deep. Remember Lot's wife is effective because she looked back and she loved the world. That's the issue of Lot's wife. And 1353, uh, uh, let's see. I think it's here, 1353, isn't it? And if the priest look, shall look, and behold, the plague is be not spread in the garment, either in the warp, or in the wolf, or in anything of, the, of skin. Footnote, this is the plague of leprosy that comes with fooling around, fooling with the mark of, uh, of a leopard in the tribulation. Revelation 13, 1 through 2, 17. According to the New Testament, Jude 25. So it was immediately altered, and every new translation will come to Revelation given in uh, in 1611. This plague can get in, get in your clothes, literally. So the reference in Jude is literal. You know, the clothes are spotted. But here the fact is, is that's a uh, a mark dealing with the fact that the U.S. You took the mark. I mean, so these sores break out in the, uh, these boxes and, you know, you break out like a leprosy type of thing. And uh, he's telling you that it probably... The bat water baptism probably prefigures something that is an, like an Old Testament, the, uh, the Old Testament cleansing of the water that could remove those poxes. You can't remove those poxes and sores if you have the mark. That's what you get with these guys. They're all over the place. And of course, they bring a lot up in the African thing there and this thing, the African, you know. It, it, ham, you know. They're obsessed, they're, they're, they're obsessed with that stuff. Obsessed. They have a breakup in a whole group over the idea is over the idea is JT's girlfriend from Japheth or Ham. <laughs> is she a Hamite or is she from Japheth? No, she's from Spain. <laughs> no, she's dark. She's from Ham. She's a Hamite. <laughs> Cast away from her. I'll stop with this up. Amen. Thank you.